let's take a uh, take a look at another important uh, metallic crystal structure. We've covered face centered cubic. Let's take a look at body centered cubic. Okay, body centered cubic. <clears throat> It's a fairly descriptive name, I think. Um, cubic. So we're going to have, as we, as we, we always do for these cubic systems, we're going to have an atom in each of the corner positions. Okay. As always, I'll remind you that each of those corners is um, each of those corners is only actually, um, we're only concerned with one-eighth of an atom at each corner, okay? Um, and there are eight corners, so that's one complete atom contributed from the corners. <clears throat> okay, if I tried to draw out, you know, the just the fraction of the atom, you'd see it was a little piece like that, one-eighth of a whole. Uh, fantastic, so that's just about it, really. The, the last thing is, as the name implies, there's one right in the very center of the cube. So that's somewhere around there. <clears throat> and that is completely inside the uh, unit cell. So that's one atom uncut, if you will, right? It's unedited. <laughs> um, and so there are in total for the BCC unit cell two atoms inside the unit cell. <clears throat> and to completely understand this, you also need to appreciate that the atoms touch across the face diagonal, uh, sorry, correction, the cube diagonals. Okay, so the um, perspective that I choose to draw here is a little unfortunate. Let me, so I'll illustrate it this way, it might be more obvious. So, as I like to do with my orange color here, uh, indicate the direction that they're touching. So the atoms make contact with one another, they touch along the cube diagonals. And that is a very useful result because what we can do, armed with that, and armed with, of course, this little piece of uh, notation, which is consistent with what we've seen before, um, the edge length is A, the lattice parameter, and because it's a cube, of course, each of these is the same. Okay. Okay, so this is, in each of the three directions, that lattice parameter is the same. So we can now calculate the length of this cube diagonal in terms of the edges. So we've got, you can actually proceed with this two ways. One would be, you could take a look at this little triangle here, calculate the, the length of this base, be a squared plus a squared is equal to that base all squared, and then take that result, all squared plus a all squared equals the hypotenuse, or, as I prefer to do it, I'll just do it in three, direct, uh, three dimensions all at once. So we've got a squared, it's just Pythagoras in three dimensions, plus a squared, we're moving in the x and the y, and then finally in the z plus a squared plus a squared equals that hypotenuse all squared. And that hypotenuse is equal to four radii. One radius here, two as you proceed through the middle, and one more over there. So you've got a four, oops, let me use the right color here, four uh, <clears throat> r all squared. Or three a squared is equal to 16 r squared. <clears throat> A is equal to 4 over root 3 R, and that is true for BCC. Oops. Okay. And that's a handy little result for calculations of theoretical density or uh, some other calculations like atomic packing factor, which we'll get to later. Thanks.